Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's episode, I will do you around a garden center or a famous garden shop here in Metro Manila or in the Philippines to know the prices of the indoor plants or the succulents in the Philippines, also to know the varieties of plants and succulents they sell there and also what other products do they sell in those garden shops. So I saw around um, 20 stalls or 20 shops in that garden center and I'm so happy that they still sell in a very low price despite the succulents or the indoor plants being famous especially during the quarantine. And also I only have 500 pesos in my wallet to at least have a challenge on what plants can I buy with just 500 pesos and and don't forget to drop your plant questions and content suggestion in the comment section below so that's it for the intro let's get right into the video What I love about cacti and succulents is that they almost look the same, but really, they have different varieties. And I think that garden shop in Cubao, that farmer's garden, could offer us that different varieties in different spectrum. For quite a while now, a range of really strange little plants has been taking most parts of our world by a bang. And to tell you frankly, the main reason why I did go to Farmer's Garden in Cubao, that garden center, the one that I am talking to you about, is to see some cacti and succulents. However, unfortunately, the succulents ran out of supply, but still lucky to find these really rare and expensive cacti. When buying cacti and succulents, one thing to keep in mind is to have a fair idea of the lighting in your house. If most of your corners are well lit, then cactus and succulents are great for you. There are really, really, really a lot of varieties of indoor and outdoor plants in Farmer's Garden Center in Cubao. And I think you can also notice that because this really takes up a lot of the portion of our video. So join me as we go along and identify these plants. Amira's Garden Shop in Cubao is my go-to garden shop whenever I go to Farmer's Garden Center. And just a tip, whenever I come shopping for plants, I always come with my list of plants to buy because I end up buying too many if I don't have any of that list. Wow! Anyway, some often ask if we can buy plant from garden center or online shop. This is a frequent question I have been asked all throughout my videos. What I can say is that I want to personally buy the plant in the garden center so I could personally check on them. To check whenever they have disease, to check the health, and to check the real size whenever I go to that garden center. And aside from that, I could personally ask the seller for some tips, so might as well buy in the garden center whenever it is possible. However, if you don't have time or you don't have the luxury of time, might as well go and get your phones and buy online shopping. 
some personal touch on this vlog, I just want to share to you my experience regarding indoor and outdoor plants. I personally definitely mostly killed my first one of these. I'm not exactly sure what I did. Not enough light, not enough water, too much light, too much water, but one thing is for sure. My passion kept me going coupled by the benefits that these plants gave me. So continue loving your plants guys, you will end up being happy too. farmer's garden center more is that I saw some fruit seedlings, herbs, and vegetable gardening options there for a very cheap price. And you know, more options kept me going there. And then I thought, whenever I move to a larger house, I'll buy more of these seedlings and plant them in my backyard. Guys, the trick about buying plants is buy them in a plastic container first and then buy your own pots or baskets. With that, aside from buying it in a cheaper price, you can also decide your own aesthetics. Okay now, I also hope that you are happy touring around that garden center. You know for me, the most important thing about a garden center are the sellers. The most important thing for me is that they should know 
um, what kind of plants they sell, um, are those plants thriving in low light conditions, how to take care of these plants. It is because you cannot sell a product that you, on the first hand, don't have any idea about that. So that's a business thing and I think it's very important. So now, let's get right into the plants that I bought. This Marian de Fendaka for me is a very very huge cup because it's very pretty and I just bought it for 150 pesos or $3. It's also thriving in a low light conditions which is very good for the indoor plant enthusiasts like me. And I think this is also suggested for the beginners. Especially if you are a kind of person that is very busy or a neglectful one. So yes. this San Severia, which I also bought for just 150 pesos or $3. You know the good thing about San Severia is that they also thrive in a very low light condition and that they also thrive in neglect. So just like a busy person like me, you can have this as a cup and look how it thrives. This is a new leaf. So, look, it's a very beautiful one. Okay, for the next one, as the content of my YouTube channel would never be complete without succulents. Look at these succulents, guys. So, I bought this for just 50 pesos each or one dollar each. Look at that one, this is a black prince and then I picked the leaves of this succulent earlier in order to propagate. Okay, look at that one. You know, these succulents, I think, um, got a lot pricier because I can buy them before quarantine for just 25 pesos or 3 for 100 pesos or 3 for 2 dollars. But I think um, they deserve a higher price because these succulents are very, very, very in demand right now. Okay, for the next one, I have to show you this potos. This marble potos, which I bought for just 80 pesos or just more than $1, but not more than $2. I think it's lush and it's bushy. So it's a, it's a cup for me. And you see, I can now just propagate this and cutting it through its nodes so. so guys i hope you are also happy touring around these garden shops or this garden center i know that plants could differ in prices from region to region but i tell you whatever price that is you must be happy because it really helps us a lot especially in distressing and in bringing happiness into our lives so that's it guys thank you for joining me in this another plant and succulent video till next time bye bye